Donald Trump was fined $364 million. His sons fined $4 million each. Former financial chief, fine a million dollars. Trump can't serve as an officer or a director in a New York corporation, and his sons can't do it for two years. Trump is barred from getting money from a New York bank for three years. This is major news. Massive news. But it just happens to be at the same time as some other international massive news that will be completely overshadowed by the Trump news, at least in the United States. And I do wonder if that was on purpose. Let me explain. Let me set the stage. Mike Johnson blocks aid for Ukraine, sends the House home while there's supposed to be a big national security threat involving Russia. Trump says publicly he would encourage Russia to attack our allies. Tucker Carlson visits Russia and does puff pieces about how great they are. He shows a shopping cart that you put a coin in so it doesn't get taken. He shows that you can buy all these groceries, but he doesn't mention that the groceries he buys would be 70% of the income for a week for a Russian, and that means they can't actually afford those groceries. Just focusing on the dollar value instead of what the purchasing power is of the country. That's not all. Just days ago, Tucker Carlson was asked, why didn't he ask about the opposition leader that's jailed in Russia? Why didn't he ask Putin about the assassinations? Now, Tucker Carlson did have a response that included, part of it was, every leader kills people. Some kill more than others. Leadership requires killing. And with all of that, Putin has killed his political opponent today. The same political opponent that he poisoned, failed to kill, and then had imprisoned for getting treatment for the poisoning that Putin's people did. Came out this morning. And I did look up some Republican responses, which were, this is just like Joe Biden, because of fucking course that's what they're going to say. Could be a hell of a coincidence. Or... It could be that Russian intelligence reads any of the number of U.S.-based news that I also do that said that this massive, game-changing, world-shaking fine against Donald Trump would be revealed today. And maybe the House not being there, the positive statements about Putin just got those Tucker Carlson puff pieces out, Maybe this is the best shot they were ever going to have to bury the story. Because he always wanted to kill this man. And he finally got the chance. And I messaged a few people I know before I made this video just to see. Ones that aren't really big on following constant news stories. And uh, what'd they tell me? They saw about the Trump fine. No idea what Putin did. None. It was all over the news. But will they see it now? Maybe. Maybe in a few days. But it's a Friday. And it's basically buried. 